How's it going everybody? Andrew Sarakman and today I'm going to be discussing the topic of leases and why if you're a new agent or a seasoned real estate agent you should seriously consider doing them. So a lot of agents when you get in the business um, you know they won't at all consider doing leases or they might try some they might dabble in it. It's hard it's competitive the rental market's crazy right now. How do I find good clients? And they just don't really want to throw themselves in it because a lot of agents think that they're above it. But I would say if you're a new agent or even a seasoned agent that's struggling, I highly suggest you guys get into leases. You know, I'm starting to bring on new agents that are able are, that are capable of doing three to six thousand dollars a month in revenue off of leases um, through different means of Facebook messaging people, Facebook marketplace, different types of lead generation systems in order to make a consistent income because the, the struggle of being a new agent is the fact that when most agents get into the business, you know, we're all excited, we're, we're gun ho and what, end up, what ends up happening, especially in market conditions like these, you know, agents quickly start to realize how difficult things can be when it goes to finding clients, when it goes to finding qualified clients, when it goes to competing against multiple offer situations with high interest rates, um, and there's bills to be paid. You know, a lot of agents start off part-time and a lot of agents start off full-time, and I would suggest getting into leases. Why? Well, if you do one lease per month, you make roughly half a month's rent, and then whatever your commission split is after that, that's the money that you're gonna be taking home at the end of the day. So if we can get our agents doing one lease a week or 1.5 leases per week, you know, you can easily make 6,000 a month. I believe that's like 72,000 a year and you're making good, consistent income your first year in the business. And I, I think it's something that I wanted to discuss today. And the importance of doing that is don't think you're above it, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're doing 67, 60 to $70,000 in revenue and income off of leases what do you think you know you'll how many clients do you think you'll meet how many future buyers do you think you're going to meet you know those people who are you meeting they're going to be turning into buyers potentially in one year two years three years and you know you'll always you already have them as a clientele base you can also use these clients in order to get yourself you know google reviews certain reviews from clients so that when you're prospecting big clients you will have this ability to show your online presence as this multi five star agent from 20 to 30 different clients all recommending you, right? That's a very intelligent thing to do and a very important thing to keep in mind as well. But I would say, look, if you're struggling in the business right now, start doing leases. You know, it is competitive out there, but don't think you're above it, guys. You add a three to four to five home sales per year on top of leases, you can easily break six figures or more. My advice for when you're actually working with tenants as well as a leasing agent or a leasing agent is to, you know, advise them what your role is. Advise them that your services are absolutely free. Advise them that you are going to be only be getting paid through the landlord. You're going to be handling all the contracts for them. And also make sure you guys are pre-qualifying tenants as well. Um, as much as we like to help everybody out and everybody we can, there's certain circumstances where landlords are, you know, only going to take good income, good credit reports, and kind of good situations for that specific property. It's not to mean you can't help um, anybody anywhere else. You can't find them another place or another place to live, but make sure you guys are pre-qualifying tenants in order to, you know, make everybody li everybody's life easier when doing lease lease listings, basically. So. If you guys are interested in making three to six thousand dollars per month, uh, I'm taking on more people at EXP Realty. I'm gonna get you started on leases if that's something that you're interested in, because I think realtors need more stability. They need wins when they get into the business because we have such a high turnover rate. When you're not doing anything or having any business or any deals closing within the first three to six months, realtors get very depressed. You know, and and it's hard. And they start to wonder, am I at the wrong company? Is the grass greener over here at Remax, at Royal LePage, at Keller Williams, at whatever team? Are they going to give me leads? Blah, 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 blah. And the thing about this business is that leases are not difficult. They can be challenging at times, but they're not difficult, guys. You find the motivated client. 
you show them a few places in a day, you pick one, you submit an offer, and if they're a good a good tenant for the landlord, most likely it's going to get accepted. I would say if you're looking for clients, do some Facebook marketplace posts, um, look in Facebook groups for people looking to rent, and you should be able to make good income and cover your bills as a realtor full time. Get some experience, get some offer experience, and getting those early wins early, which is super important. So I just wanted to basically make this video to kind of show realtors that don't be afraid of leasing. Don't think that's below me. If you're somebody who sells freaking 10, 20, 30 homes a year, fine. Don't worry about it. But on average, half of agents aren't even doing deals at all. You know, it's only really the top 20% of people in this business who are really producing. So be honest with yourself. Are you in that top 20%? No. Well, you can get there through leases. You can commission cap through leases. Do sales as well. Keep everything going. Keep everything going on the pipeline. Because it's way better to actually just do these deals, get out there with these clients, do the job of a realtor, be the real estate agent, rather than just sitting at home prospecting for three months straight or in the office prospecting for three months straight hoping you'll get something. One is active in the business. I'm working. I'm working out with people. I'm, I'm doing all this work for them. We're getting deals done. The other is, hey, this is Andrew calling from blah, 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 blah company. You know, do you want to work together? Can I send you properties? And yeah, that works. That's the business. But you got you to gotta culminate it all together to have some consistency and actually be the person in your career to have success in this industry. Thanks very much for listening. I know I was kind of rambly, but I'm just going off the top of the cuff here. If you guys are interested in, you know, joining EXP Realty, I brought on quite a few people already looking to bring on more. Just feel free to comment down below, message me, book a meeting. Let's get it done.